let me ask you three questions. Question number one from Reset for Parents. Who cares if your child holds his fork right but dies and goes to hell? How often do we eat with the manners at the table and chew with their... And those things are all appropriate to teach a child, but ultimately, if they have queen-like manners and they always hold their tea correctly, but die and go to hell, does it really matter? Question number two. Who cares if your child never uses a potty word but spends eternity crying out for a drop of water? And uh, question number three. Who cares if your child gets accepted by an Ivy League school but experiences the wrath of God forever and ever? Uh, those three questions from chapter one of Reset for parents, which encourages you, brace yourself for this, to stop disciplining. That's right, Christian parent, stop disciplining. Instead, start discipling. The two words, disciple and discipline, you notice have the same root. It's because they come from the same concept. Disciplining isn't just merely a whack upside the head or a wooden spoon to the backside. No, discipline, and Christian parents can discipline, should always be about discipleship. That is a radical change for most of us, hence Reset for Parents. We move from the realm of behavioral modification into the realm of salvation. Now, this from chapter one of Reset for Parents. Every interaction with your child should have one overarching goal, that your words and actions would lead them to love and fear the Lord more than they currently do. Sorry, I'm kind of feeling the weight of my own statement. Oh, mom and dad, how many times have I blown it? How many times have you blown it? You see your child doing something naughty, you jump in to fix the situation. Maybe you yell, maybe you got the sort of face going on. But when the conversation is done, you get temporary compliance but no heart change, no greater desire to obey God. Yikes, we have blown it. That is why you and I need a reset. Our thinking simply has to change from behavioral modification to salvation. So let me phrase that last heavy sentence negatively. If your interaction with your child doesn't end with more love, joy, and peace than when you began, then you have failed in your one and only assignment with your child. Our goal in life is not to simply have well-behaved children. Our goal, our assignment, our command from God is to teach our children to love him by teaching his precepts, by teaching them about the fear and the admonition and the discipline of the Lord. That's our job. And if our interaction, when our kid has biffed it, when our kid has goofed up, when our kid has sinned, we failed if we don't teach them to love the Lord more. Nobody said parenting was easy. This from Reset for Parents. If you spank your child without discipling your child through the process, then you are not parenting. You are just being a bully. G Adrian! Get over here! Sorry, what is the matter with you? I'm We're doing a professional TV show. Ow! <laughs> Don't do that again. You'd go, what, 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 you could call some government official to come into that place. It's a hostile work environment. You would be appalled if I treated an adult that way. And let's be honest, how many times have we treated our children that way? 
That isn't parenting. That's being a bully. But wait, there's more gulps. Uh, from Reset for Parents, if you only give your child orders without explaining the biblical motivation that should drive their behavior, then you are treating your child like Pavlov's dogs, not as image bearers of Almighty God. We train circus animals, rote behavior, giving them a little treat on occasion, whooping them to get them to do their little tricks. That's how we treat animals, not children. And a finally, gulp. If you only correct your child's behavior, then you are not parenting like a Christian. You are <coughs> parenting like a pagan. <sighs> Perhaps you are feeling suddenly like you are the worst parent on the planet. I can assure you, you are not. I am. Uh, look, I, I, I wrote a book about this stuff, not because I've done everything perfectly, but because I've failed so many times and I've seen the results. You and I need a radical reset. Here's an offer. You can't refuse. Get a copy of my brand new book, Reset for Parents, How to Keep Your Kid from Backsliding. Read it, apply it. And if you do not see a change for the better in your home and in your relationship with your child, we'll send your money back. I'm not kidding. Now all you have to lose is a bunch of yelling, screaming, and sinning. Purchase a copy at wretched.tv slash reset or get it absolutely free. Well, except for that string attached, which is joining the Wretched Club, become a monthly supporter, and we will give you my new book, Reset for Parents, absolutely free. And if you do get it for free, and if you read it, apply it, and don't see a change, we'll send your money back for the retail value of the book. I am that confident this book will change your home.